Hi everyone, my name is Nadia and I like to talk about the mystical and metaphysical side to life. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. So something that is shared so deeply in the metaphysical community are different points and I'm going to be talking about them, us as a human, and what we're supposed to be doing on this earth. So point number one is that you are living in this world and this is only one of the many lives you have lived throughout the lifetime. And you are given this body during this lifetime and you will stay within this body during this lifetime until your body passes away. So you are not the body. You are you, but you are not the body. It's just something that you hold. Okay, I'm trying to learn this, but I tend to look towards the left instead of the right, but the right is where I'm supposed to look like to get this in focus and to look at you guys, my audience. So during this lifetime, you are enrolled into the school of life. And when you go to school, you don't like all the lessons that you need to learn. Some of them you think are relevant and stupid, but you still have to take them. And it's the same thing with the school of life. There's lessons you need to learn, and you might think they're relevant or stupid, but that you still need to learn them. And only when you learn them, then will you excel. During the school of life, there are only lessons and there are no mistakes. So the lesson will be given to you over and over and over again until you learn your lesson. And you learn your lesson by coming to this awareness of like, okay, this I'm noticing that this pattern keeps on repeating itself. And this pattern, by the way, could have been carried on from other lifetimes that have like carried on to this lifetime and it will keep on repeating itself until you learn the lesson and you grow. So when you re receive these lessons, as I mentioned, like it can come over and over and over again until you learn it. And it can come in many different forms. And sometimes even when you feel like, okay, I've learned my lesson, it will still come to you to test you to make sure you've learned it. So sometimes a lesson can come in a form of a person. And basically, let's say, for example, I'll talk about an issue that I tend to have, I tend to make excuses for people's bad behavior. And um, because I make excuses for their bad behavior, it always tends to come back to me. But it's only now that I've reached to this heightened level of awareness that I'm like, okay, uh, I do tend to make excuses for people's bad behavior, which is something I wasn't aware of before I was doing it without having the awareness. And now that I realize it, I've noticed that, you know, in, in the tracks when it happened with the first person, as I reached that awareness, I was like, no, stop, finish. And that person drained me when I was being assertive and I was like, answering to like not answering in the sense of like accepting it but answering in the sense of like telling them like listen listen universe i'm answering what you're telling me and i'm going to be assertive with this person and let them know that they cannot behave in such a way with me because now it's reached a level of disrespect so when i learned that lesson it was extremely drainful extremely kind of actually traumatizing and then time passed and i received my peace and it was unfortunately someone I had to part ways with because they were not respecting my boundaries. And if they did respect my boundaries, they would have been fine with it and they wouldn't have treated me like that to begin with. But then it crept up on me again with someone else. And it was like, it took me a while to realize it, but I was like, okay, now in hindsight, I can see like there was very similar patterns, but that didn't like for the second time round, it didn't take me long to realize that you know, it was very soon after I was like, okay, I'm making excuses for their bad behavior again, and I can't accept this. So I was uh, able to stop it in this track very early on. So you have to think about something that keeps on coming back in your life in different forms, but it's the same thing. And you have to see what's the lesson there that you need to learn, because it's so empowering when you go through that self growth for you, your lessons are not going to be finish until you leave this earth. So the lessons will keep on coming. So it's not the same lesson only that you have to learn that will keep on creeping up. So like, for example, mine was uh, excusing people's bad behavior. But so, you know, that kept on coming up in different forms. But then if I learned my lesson, 
I might have different lessons in parallel that I have to learn. So like, let's say, for example, that this is like another issue that I dealt with, which I don't have it as much as before, but I had this for over 10 years and I knew I had the problem, but I didn't uh, know how to control it at the time. So I had like major anger issues and it took me just until about a year ago to be like, okay, I have to understand the root cause of this anger because like, you know, usually angry people are just like hurt people. They're wounded inside. But I didn't know that at the time. Like I just was like, oh, this is hereditary. This is like why I have this issue. But the truth of the matter is there was a lesson there for me to, to learn. And when I was able to uh, release my anger, um, and let go, that's very important to let go, then I was like, okay, now I feel so much lighter, like, and the, my whole perspective of the world has changed, and the things that I was receiving from the uh, universe also changed a lot. So, um, your lessons don't finish. You will keep on having new lessons that you have to learn from, and that's all part of the process of your growth. So, there's this really cool quote I saw that, like, the problem with people is that they're looking that there is better than here. So I would say that this is related to like, for example, if anyone's read the book, The Power of Now by, I think his name, this is how they say his name, Eckhart Tolle. So basically he talks about how we need to be in the moment. And sometimes people are so focused on the future or looking at what other people have that they don't focus on the present moment and their blessings and what they have and that really affects their growth so when you're always focusing on there like over there over there later on what i want to get what i want to achieve that, that that kind of thing it really affects your growth because the only way you can truly prosper and grow in a beautiful way is to be present in this moment and focus on the now in order to get there eventually Side note, how cute is my little Coco? Coco, stop being so cute. Aren't you the cutest little thing? You're so relaxed, aren't you? Aww. Okay, back to my point, sorry, distraction. So another interesting thing is that when you say you love and hate something about another individual, you have to think about what you love or hate within yourself. So everything you see within other people is merely a reflection of yourself. So when you look at other people, it's like looking in the mirror. So when you see something that you don't like, I feel that that is a time where you need to like really look within yourself and say, why do I have an issue with this? Like why, why is this person's laugh, for example, bothering me so much that it makes me like hate them? Why is this person's happiness making me not like them? Why is, and you know, you have to like really question yourself. And there are like techniques to use to help with that and to get, overcome it. But you're always going to kind of meet people where you see things that like irritate you or annoy you or things you really love in other people. But what you need to remember is that that is a really a reflection of yourself. Something interesting is the, ref the direction your life takes is completely up to you. The tools and resources to direct your life and guide it in the way you want it to be is possible. But you are the only person that is able to take that decision. Um, nobody can do it for you. I'm going to use like a really, really extreme example here, but this is like, for me, this is like, this is a hero. This is what lets you know that there is always hope. So we're, there were like, there are many cases of it, but I'm going to talk about one girl in particular. So she was kidnapped uh, by a man and he was like raping her on a very, on a daily basis. And, you know, she ended up ab being able to escape. And people asked her because like they felt like she was just like so resilient and strong and, you know, she, she, okay, yeah, she still went to a psychiatrist and everything, but she wasn't that affected like it wasn't putting her in uh, a state of like you know she wasn't suicidal she didn't go through major depression she didn't develop major anxiety she didn't have any of that and they asked her and she said 
look, I was confined within the space and I can do, like I couldn't get out of that. And at that point in time, there was no way for me to get out of that situation. So all I was able to do was make the best of the worst possible situation. And I use this as an example because that's so horrible. Like imagine being in a situation in a confined space, like look at us with the COVID-19. We're going crazy over here, like staying in our houses in isolation. Imagine someone being in a confined space and like they can't even get out of it. And like, you know, something horrendous is happening to them probably daily, if not like several times a day. And this person was able to, with like being weak and, you know, being in that kind of situation, make the best out of it. And it's all within ourselves to be able to do that, to look within ourselves, to be able to make the best of the situation. And that just leads us to the next uh, thing. All the answers that you seek lie within yourself. The problem with us is that we always try to look outside for happiness, for answers. And I am like, I'm guilty of this myself. I will always try to look for outside for approval and for answers to my problems and situations. But the truth of the matter is, if you are in a calm state of mind and you and to get to that you'd have to do something like use some of the tools you know like meditating daily and you have to reach a point where your mind like quiets down uh you will see that you are the true holder of the real answers that you need nobody outside of you can give you the answers even if they've gone through a very similar or identical experience it's still different, like their path in life is different to yours. So it doesn't mean that it worked for them that it's gonna work for you because your paths and lives are different. Even if you're twins, I don't care. It's not the same. Only you have the true answers. And the last point of life. So whether you think you can or you think you can't, the answer is true. If you think you can't, you can't. If you think you can, you can. I'm gonna give another example here. And this is to do with like limiting beliefs. So, and how we let our emotions get, get the best of us. So I knew this one individual and he used to tell me that, you know, Nadia, like I really wanna have like an active and healthy lifestyle. Like I just feel like I can't. And then, so, you know, trying to motivate him, I was like, you know, I work out at these times and you can come, and you can do this and whatever. And he always had an excuse not to. And then he was like, yeah, but I work until these hours. And then I was like, okay, like, why don't you prepare your gym clothes the night before? So when you wake up in the morning, you take it with you you know, you leave it in the car, because I used to do this. Like I used to live, I leave my gym clothes in the car and I used to start work at 6.30 a.m. So it wasn't like I can get like that. So I could have if I wanted to, but it's not like I wanted to get that super early workout before that. So I used to put my gym clothes in the car and then, you know, when I'm done with work to save time of going home and changing whatever, whatever I already had my gym clothes. So I changed that work, um, put my gym uh, gear on. Uh, it was wrong, like work hours were already done with. And then I worked out and that would save me like half an hour or an hour at least instead of like going home and changing and do, doing all of that. And also because I wanted to change my environment, like I just didn't want to, you know, work out where I live. So um, I gave him this as a suggestion. He was like, no, I can't. And then he had reasons why he couldn't. And they were just limiting beliefs. And if he really, he, he had no like higher consciousness at all, but if he w were to, he would be like, oh my God, I'm giving myself excuses because I just don't want to. So sometimes even though someone is saying the words of, like, I want to do this and I want to do that and I can't and because of this and whatever, it's not the truth. You are creating your own restrictions. So if you believe you can't, you can't. And if you believe you can, you can. And the truth of the matter is you can do anything you want to and only you are stopping yourself okay guys that was the end of my video if you have questions comments want a session you can comment down below you can uh, send me a dm on my instagram i'll put my instagram account down below and if there's anything else you need please let me know and coco says why too